Alright, hello guys, and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about the early portion of March and how I expect it to be very, very, very cold. I have taken this into account with my March forecast that I had released yesterday, so rest assured uh, this is taken into account, and this isn't something that I wasn't expecting to happen. Uh, before I get started with the video, I'd ask that you do subscribe for content like this. I do monthly forecasts, weekly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, as well as random forecast videos like this for certain things that I think will be a little bit more extreme than typical or uh, oddities in the weather. I do that, or for specific storms snowstorms included, hurricanes, severe weather events this spring. So please subscribe if you are interested in that type of content. Now we're going to get right into it. We're looking at NOAA's 6 to 10 day outlook here. And I wanted to show this because this is very, very, very confident. Uh, they're, they're very confident in it. They think 90% chance of below average temperatures in that darkest shade of blue you can see there. Uh, that extends from Washington State into Montana, into the, the, the Dakotas, down south into Missouri and some of the Mississippi River Valley, uh, and then up into Ohio and the Great Lakes. All of you guys are in that very, very, very cold temperatures. And even for a lot of the eastern seaboard, mid-Atlantic, New England, you're all in the 80% chance of being below average in the 6 to 10 day uh, range. And, and that's also very, very, very cold. Uh, as well as 70% as well in that kind of gray color. So they are very confident in the cold temperatures, and it looks like a lot of the United States is going to be very cold during this time frame. Now we're going to move on to our CFS V2 mean 2 meter temperature anomalies, and this means that this is comparatively to normal. Uh, in the purple colors, we are 5 to 9 degrees below average Celsius, and that's going to be very noticeably cold. Uh, and this is for the 6th through the 13th. You can see Montana into the Dakotas down through into Kansas and Oklahoma, up through Missouri and into the Great Lakes region. That's where a lot of that held, that cold looks to be held at, but you can see a lot of the eastern seaboard, including New England and the mid-Atlantic regions, North Carolina, Virginia included, uh, are in that 3.5 to 5 degrees below average, and that'll also be very noticeably cold, not quite as extreme according to this model. Now we are going to look at our GEFS model, which is the, the GFS and SAMA model, and this is the time frame before what we're talking about, so this is the 28th through the 5th, and you can see there is some warm in the southeast, uh, and, and it's really not that cold along the eastern seaboard here, but it is extremely cold from Montana down into Kansas and up through Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin, as well as the Dakotas and Nebraska. Uh, those areas all look extremely cold. Now we are going to move on one time frame, the 6th through the 11th now, and you can see the cold becomes a lot more widespread, especially for the east, New England, down through the mid-Atlantic, we're all uh, around 8 to 12 degrees below average. That's extremely noticeable, especially since it's Celsius. It's going to be very cold during this time frame, 6th through 11th, according to this model. Uh, as well, again, as Montana, the Dakotas, down through Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and the Great Lakes region, you're still very cold. It's just a lot of that cold is spread eastward into the southeast, Gulf states, uh, the east coast, and New England and the northeastern United States. Now, we're also going to look at our ECMWF. Ensemble model, and this is showing a lot of the same. A lot of that cold is bottled up for wa uh, Washington State, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, down through portions of Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Nebraska, the Dakotas, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, Minnesota. We're all very cold. You can see a lot of those negative tens. I mean, it's 10 degrees below average. And anything in the green is 4 to 7 degrees below average. And you can see that extends down through Texas into all of the Gulf, Gulf states, all of the southeast states, all of the mid-Atlantic states, all of the New England states, northeast, and a lot of uh, the Great Lakes regions as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Again, please consider subscribing if you do enjoy content like this. This is the kind of content that I hope to bring out uh, daily for you guys continuing throughout the rest of the year. And again, many, many years to come, hopefully. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.